Hey guys, Oko, welcome back to Undertale. Let's carry on where we left off. We've made it to Hotland after escaping Undyne's hot pursuit of us. And we met Dr. Alphys and her human-hating robot, and now we've got an ominous building in the distance, so I can only imagine things are on the up from here. So let's keep going. So see that building in the distance? That's the core. The source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh... Anyway, that's where we're going to go. I see. Geothermal energy into magical electricity? Isn't that how it normally works? In the core is an elevator directly to Ascor's castle. And from there, you can go home. Oh. Okay, so home is within our grasp. I see. Well, let's keep moving then. Uh, I do realize we need to go back at some point, actually, and uh, meet some kind of fish. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to miss anything. I don't think I did miss it. I think it's only unlocked just now. But uh, let's keep going and see if we can find another uh, ferry stop before we um, head back there. Oh, we've got... Is this the, an elevator already? I thought it was in the uh, core. So, hmm. I don't think this is going to take us to the core. Please select the location. Uh, left floor one, right floor two. Let's, uh, let's go the right way. Let's go right floor two. I look as unimpressed as ever. <laughs> Alright, where's this gonna take us? Hello there. Heh, I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name. I, I will endeavor to do so, in case we end up in another quiz show and Alphys isn't there to give me the answers. Sans, you're here as well. Uh, okay, cool. I love hot dogs. Hey. Isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Yeah, that's, that's why the snow's there. Not because he's too lazy to obey the laws of physics and energy. Uh, toasty bun! Okay, yeah, uh, I agree. Toasty bun are, are nice. Yes, toasty buns. <laughs> hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 gold. Uh, sure, why not? As long as you don't raise the price after I purchase it. Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. I see. Uh, thank you. Do I actually- Yes, hot dog question mark? <laughs> Info. Hot dog question mark. Heals 20 HP. The meat is made of something called a water sausage. <laughs> okay. Um, Papyrus, your brother is here, scamming people with water sausages. What? My brother's actually at his station? But somehow, he's selling hot dogs instead. Slacking off by doing work. Truly, my brother is a master. <laughs> I, yeah, he is very impressive. Hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? Um, not this time. Is this even a no? The O and the N have just sort of combined. <laughs> yeah, you gotta save your money for college and spiders. Actually, you've got a point there. I do need to save money for uh, Timmy's college fund. That's something we also need to go back and do. And, uh, in case the spiders have another bake sale. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. But gears turning. Alpha's posted a picture. Dinner with the girlfriend, winky face. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Oh, I see. I thought you finally got together with Undyne. You, you worked up the courage. And we've got Pyro. Oh, boy. I've got nightmares from this guy. How do I deal with him? Let's cool him down. You blow on Pyro. Its flames die down. Pyro's attack dropped. Ooh, what's the deal? Oh, this time he's got bombs? Okay, they they explode really big. Um, let's, uh... Maybe I'm not supposed to cool him down. Maybe I'm supposed to heat him up until he burns through the ropes? You crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Yeah, well, there's even a bit of distortion. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter! Ah! Okay, I can deal with these bombs. Oh, never mind, I just ran into one. Pyro wants more heat. Sure. You crank up the thermostat, it's super hot. Pyro looks satisfied. Hot, 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 hotter, hotter! Oh no, this is what I'm afraid of. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm not good. <laughs> the room is smel- is sweltering. Well, that's it. Spare him. You won! You earn zero XP and 45 gold. That's the equivalent of one and a half hot dogs. Cool Skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend. <laughs> it's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Giant muscular biceps are posted on his arms. Are <laughs> uh, pasted on his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Wow. 
That is cool, dude. Alpha's updated status. Lol, cool skeleton 95. That's a joke, right? <laughs> oh gosh. I'm involved in the underground uh, <laughs> social media scene. Napstab look, 22, I sent you a friend request. Napstab look, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's the ghost, right? Accept the request? Yes. It seems to have already rejected itself. Oh no, Napstab look, please. Is it because I got you, got you wrong? There's an apron lying on the ground. Will you take it? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. You got the stained apron. Well, at least it wasn't a trap. Uh, right, our inventory's full, so we probably need to deal with this in a moment. Uh, stained apron, armor defense 11, heals 1 HP every other turn. Yep, let's wear that. Hell yeah. Could always use some free healing. Use. Now. Uh, let's call Papyrus before we start using these dimensional boxes. <laughs> An apron lying in Hotland? That makes sense. Cooking is definitely fire elemental. Uh, yeah, if you say so, I guess. It's, it's definitely not Earth. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, gathering ingredients part, I suppose. So, dimensional box A. We can put our ballet shoes and old tutu. We've we've shed that life now. We are no longer a ballet a ballet dancer. We're just uh, a kid exploring Hotland, trying to get to. Uh, the castle and get back to civilization. We've got more conveyor belts. So Hotland, I guess, is like the more industrial part of the underground. <laughs> Hi, it's Dr. Alphys. This p puzzle is kind of, um, uh, timing-based. You see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll, I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Okay. Three switches, huh? Alright, so... We just need to travel along and hit them. Huh. Huh. No! <laughs> Elphys! <laughs> okay, now press the third one. <laughs> Thank you. Backseat driving. Goodness me. Hey! Looks like you only needed to press two of them. Oh. Phew. Well, that's good, but what happens if I press the third button? We should find out. Come on, alongside the Travelator. Here we go again. I don't want to turn it on, though. Two, three. Cool. Nothing nothing changed. Alright. It was worth a try. Where are we going? Are we going towards this left floor one? Alpha updated status. That's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle about. <laughs> uh, I guess she is watching me on her security cam of, so of sorts. Is it like a drone that's following me or what? Uh, hey, I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. I will. Don't call me. Just update your social media status in the bathroom, as you always do. What was that? Okay, let's go this way. Whoa. Ah, it's a switch that changes directions. Alright, well, I don't even know where our destination is, so let's go this way. That's going to take us backwards. So our destination is to the left. But I'm curious as to what's straight ahead. Um, hmm. Well, we can only go one way down. Uh, left, of course. Straight. Straight. Hmm. Well, there's an island that's north, but there's no way to get there, is there? From what I can tell. All right, let's see what happens if we go on this Travelator. Like this. We obviously can't run against it, so we have to let it take us all the way back to the beginning. Okay, we're obviously missing something here, so let's have a look. Okay, somehow, I don't even know how I fixed this. But uh, this is working now, so let's go straight. Only for nothing to be here. Excellent. And we go this way. Hang on. Let's see if we can work this out. So, obviously, hitting each button switches things. So, I want the arrow to be on the right by the time I hit this button. So, let's work backwards from here. And then straight. And we're done. Alright, we made it. Good. That didn't take long whatsoever. Alpha updated status. OMG! People think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1. <laughs> LOL, that's a joke, right? 
Oh boy. Anyway, I'm fulfilled. I'm filled with determination as we look at this mouse hole again. It's squeaking. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. <laughs> it fills you with determination. Okay. Well, good luck, mouse. There's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> uh, maybe it doesn't want the melted cheese after all. Alpha's updated status. OMG. Don't they get it ruins... Don't they get it ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc? Hmm. Alpha's updated status. My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. Okay, that's just your status, right? Does anyone comment on your status? What do we have up there? I'm kind of curious as to what's on left floor one now. Hey, Hugh, stop! Oh, it's these guys. We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> Is this even a shirt? I feel like it's a bodysuit. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know. Sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We're, we'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Okay, you know I'm the human with the striped shirt, right? Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? <laughs> bro. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Oh. Royal Guard attacks. Both of them at once. RG1 and RG2. RG1, attack 30, defense 20, Royal Guard member with shining polished armor. Like, team attack, team attack. Okay, they're team attacking me. Whoa. Jeez. One is polishing his face. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's whisper to him. You tell RG1 to be honest with his feelings. Like, what? I don't get it. What? Alright. Whoa, that was close. Jeez, it's like playing in traffic. One stands guard. Let's clean his armor. You attempt to touch RG1's armor. Your hands slip off. <laughs> like, hands off the merch. <laughs> I didn't realize these guys were like surfer dudes. Uh, okay, we're doing fine so far. Okay, never mind. But I healed thanks to my shiny new apron. One is polishing his face. Uh, what about RG2? Whisper. You tell RG2 your favorite secret. Like, prepare to die, right? I won't tell. Thank you, RG2, for being on my side. These guys are pretty tough. They've got strong attacks, four damage each. One is polishing his face. Uh, clean armor. You clean RG2's armor. Its cooling dirt begins to wash away. Like perish and stuff, getting warmer. Uh, that's what we need to do. Oh. Okay, but green doesn't heal me anymore. It just is friendly. Two watches your movements. Let's keep cleaning his armor so he, like, suffers a, a heat stroke again, like Undyne did. But we don't want to kill him, of course. You clean RG2's armor, its cooling dirt begins to wash away. It's getting warmer. Like, give us the soul, brah. <laughs> ah, maybe I just need to keep touching it. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Oh my goodness. Much better. <laughs> You're making RG1 sweat. RG1 looks bothered by something. What's wrong? You insecure? You're not as buff as RG2? Clean armor. You attempt to touch RG1's armor, your hands slip off. Like, hands off the merch! Hm. Okay, well, I, uh, I'm gonna need to heal up soon. I really need to heal up now. Too much as your movements, that one HP healing is not gonna be enough. Uh, let's go for the crab apple. Eat the crab apple, your HP was maxed out. Dude, <laughs> what's going on? I guess he's avoiding hitting me, and it's just RG1 who's attacking right now. One is polishing his face. Clean armor. You pat RG2's chest like a muscular bongo. <laughs> dum -dum 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 -dum. Hey, stop that! Hello. <laughs> right. Well, he's impressed, I guess. Yeah, it's like I got repel or something. One stands guard. You pat RG2's chest like a muscular bongo again. Hey, stop that! So, I think we've reached a dead end with RG2. Let's go back to RG1. One is polishing his face. You tip to touch his armor. Maybe we need to whisper. Your hands slip off. 
Oh, didn't have much chance there. Or there. One stands guard. Whisper. You tell RG1 to be honest with his feelings. I, I, <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Make him infatuated with his partner. RG2. D dude I can't. I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, too. I like... I like... Like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you. Bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. Too. I... Like... Want to stay like this forever. Um... Uh... I mean, uh... Psych! Gotcha, bro! <laughs> One. I yeah bro? Do you want to... get some ice cream? After this? Sure, dude! <laughs> One and two are looking at each other happily. Well, I shall make my exit. You won! You earned zero XP and a hundred gold. Well done, guys. I guess I went to go get some ice cream. I recommend ice cream! Very good. Bring an umbrella, you'll get a discount, actually. Alright, I shall keep moving with my striped shirt. Alpha's updated status. Oops, wait, how's the human doing? Yeah, could've used your help a while ago now. Alpha's updated status. Top 10 shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. <laughs> okay, I don't think that Steam's gonna hurt us. But, just being careful, in case. Uh-oh. How did things suddenly get dark in Hotland? Did we melt the light bulbs? Okay, I'm back. Another dark room, huh? And don't worry, um, my hacking skills have got things covered. Oh my gosh, MTT News. Are you serious? Oh yes. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton, reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there reporting live. Brave correspondent. Please find something newsworthy to report. Uh, well, scientist discovers health benefits of using computer. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I did uh, find some romance out uh, with the royal guard. It's, I guess, scandalous of sorts. Local Metaton, very rich, famous, and gorgeous. <laughs> Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Tiny volcano monster tries its best. Receives tiny applause. <laughs> okay, well, let's find some news. Oh my. It's a completely nondescript glass of water. But anything can make a great story with enough spin. Yeah, well, uh, it didn't evaporate like my other um, cup of water. Mrs. Invitation to this scenario would have loved it. Report this one. Uh, I'll look some more. Compare my options. We've got a basketball. Basketball's a blast, isn't it, darling? Too bad you can't play with these balls. They're MTT brand fashion basketballs for wearing, not playing. You can't get rich and famous like moi without beautifying a few orbs. Report this one. Look more. Oh, we've got another doggy. Oh no, that movie script. How'd that get there? It's a super juicy sneak preview of my latest guaranteed not to bomb film. Metatonda movie, the 28th, starring, starring Metaton. I've heard that like the other films. It consists mostly of a single four-hour shot of rose petals showering on my rec reclining body. I was about to say recycling body, I'm sorry. <laughs> Washua cleans up local crime. Literally. <laughs> Finds cri criminals and douses them in soap. Crime doesn't go down, but it smells amazing. <laughs> Good on him. I've uh, I've cleaned up. I've got him to clean me a few times actually, didn't I? Historic news ticker headline shortage. <laughs> this reminds me of the uh, ticker in um, SimCity 3000, 4000. Just the erroneous messages that just travel alongside the bottom. Uh, okay. Ooh, but that's not confirmed. You wouldn't. <clears throat> Spoil my film for everyone with a promotional story, would you? Report this one. 
I mean, this would probably give you a boost in the, in the marketing department, but I will look more. Phew, that was close. You almost gave me a bunch of free advertisement. <laughs> uh, you didn't need to say phew if you can't exactly sigh with relief you're a robot. Oh my, it's a present, and it's addressed to you, darling. Aren't you just bursting with excitement? What could be inside? Well, no time like that present to find out. <laughs> and who knew robots were capable of humor? Ooh la la, this video game you found is dynamite. Though I don't make an appearance in it until three-fourths in. But I like that. Appearing from the heavens like mana, sl slaking the audience's hunger for gorgeous robots. Ooh, that's Metaton. Report this one? No. I feel like everyone's reported on this dog though, right? What a sensational opportunity for a story. I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report this one? Let's do it. Attention viewers, our correspondent has found a dog. Cute audience Oz. <laughs> That's right, folks. It's the feel-good story of the year. Look at its little ears. Tiny paws, fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's... A fuse. What? It's a dog bomb? Ah! That's right, that dog is a bomb, but don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. You were here the whole time? There, There's another, everything is primed and ready except for the prison and the basketball? Oh my, it seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That prison's a bomb. That basketball's a bomb. <laughs> even my words are <laughs> explosive. Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all of the bombs, this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes, but it says five on it. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. I'll be reporting dead. How terrible. How disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Good luck, darling. I ain't your darling, bro. D -d don't worry. Yeah, I installed a bomb defusing program on your phone. What kind of phone is this? You know, I don't have time to question it. Use the defuse option when the bomb is in the defuse zone. N now, go get him. I got confused with my robot, uh, my robot voice. Defuse the dog. Okay. Annoying dog. Let's just check it first. Annoying dog bomb. It's blissfully unaware of its circumstances. Oh no, we have to save it first. The dog is still active. Defused. Dog defused. Well done. Great job. Keep heading around the room. You try to go for the one in the bottom left next. Bottom left. All right. Come on. Come down. It's it's not coming back. 84 seconds left. Shit. Gotta get a move on. Alright. Basketball's next. Defuse the basketball. Basketball. Even if you explode, you'll at least look good. <laughs> Tick. Come on. We can do this. Ugh. Bomb defused. 61 seconds left. Ugh. Come on. Let's head down. Bottom left. Maybe that's what I was talking about here. Ah! Damn it. There we go. Defuse the game. <laughs> game bomb. Game bomb. You really should have rented it first. I don't have time. I won't have time to check things. Bomb defused. 24 seconds. Go, 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 go. All right. Defuse the script. Script bomb. Bomb defused. Ugh. Prison bomb. Defuse the prison. Bomb defused. Great job. Head for the center. I'm using uh, EM fields to trap the glass of water there. Seven seconds left. Where's the glass of water? Six seconds left. Oh, there it is. Five seconds left. Defuse the extremely agile glass of water. Let's just take it first. All things considered, it's an extremely agile glass of water. Of course it is. Swish. <laughs> Got it. Bomb defused. Well done, darling. You've deactivated all of the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. Goodbye, darling. 
Ah, run for it! it! It hasn't exploded yet, Metaton, and you would've blown up too, you know. Ah, uh, it seems the bomb isn't going off. That's be be because, uh, while you were monologuing, I... I... F I fix... Um, I... Ch ch change Oh no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curse says, it seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. Until next time, darling. W wow, we, we really showed him, huh? I think uh, you upset Metaton because you weren't viewing this on the official stream there. Alphys, you weren't counting towards his audience count. <laughs> you were streaming it by your drone spying on me. Hey, I know I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more... Uh, more... More confident about guiding you. Uh, so, so don't worry about that b big d d dumb robot. I, I'll protect you from him. And if it really came down to it, I we, we could just uh, t t t turn it... Uh, never mind. Later. <laughs> okay, crisis averted. <sighs> Papyrus. I love the news. It's so informative. And full of cutthroat explosive action. Yeah, well, I just brought a lot of explosive action. Actually, no, I kind of uh, avoided the explosive action, didn't I? So here's the big bomb, but I can't examine it. We've got rocks. Hmm. Okay. So we defused a game, a basketball, a script, uh, a dog, <laughs> a gift, and a glass of water. That was extremely agile, by the way. All right, we're done here, I think. Let's move along. Thankfully, the time seemed to slow down towards the end there, giving me a chance. Uh, maybe I could have uh, actually inspected everything. We're getting closer to the core, yet it feels like it's the same distance away. <laughs> um, I noticed you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about meeting Ascor? No, I'm just always quiet. I don't even say anything. I'm actually kind of... I'm, I'm mute. <laughs> Well, don't worry, okay? The, the king is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him, and uh, with your human soul, you, you can pass through the barrier. So, so, so no worrying, okay? Uh, just forget about it and smile. Click. Now I'm really curious as to what's on the left floor. So this is left floor two, I'm guessing? Please select the location. Let's go uh, left floor one. Now I can go to left floor three. I don't know how that's supposed to take me to right floor two. Okay, left floor one. Another save point. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay, so this takes us back to the beginning, which means we can go on the ferry to go back. Tra la la. Care for our ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. He's got the special boat this time. I can see the face. Where will we go today? Let's go to... Waterfall. Then we're off. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I like how there's only splashes at the back and not at the front. Tra la la! Somewhere, it's Sunday. So be careful. Well, it is Sunday right now. Yeah, you're quite right. Ooh, slow down, slow down. Break. There we go. Nice. Sit. <laughs> Come again sometime. Tra la la! We'll see you soon. I'm back. I made it back to Timmy Village. Right, uh, let's let's uh, donate our funds to your college fund, eh? So apparently if I use this dog residue, that's what causes us to duplicate it and get a lot of money. Dog residue, dog item, glowing crystals secre secreted by a dog. Alright, so dog residue, let's use it. Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. <laughs> oh, okay. And dog salad? What is that? Dog salad. Dog salad heals question mark HP, recovers HP. Hit poodles. <laughs> Hoi, welcome to the Tam shop. <laughs> I'm selling my dog residue. Whoa, you got a dog residues. Hmm. I gotta have that dog residues, but I gotta pay for calling. Hmm. Tam always won the dog residues. Uh, Tam buy dog residue for 4G? Yes, please. Thanks, purchase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All my dog residue. No, wait, no. Not all of it. Just some of it. 
some of it. Hoi, welcome to the temp shop. Boy. Right, we got dog residue, we got dog salad, and hot dog question mark is <laughs> all in our inventory now. I've deposited pretty much everything else into the box. Let's uh, let's grind this out. I feel bad I'm exploiting Timmy. He wants to pay for, or she, wants to pay for uh, college, but I'm forced to go to buy all this dog residue, and then I'm going to look like the hero by <laughs> returning all that money. But I guess uh, it's the best of both worlds, right? It gets uh, dog residue and it gets the money. All right, Timmy, what have we learned today? That you always could have afforded college. You just chose to spend it all on dog residue because you figured you needed it. But no, that wasn't true. You only wanted it, Timmy. You need your college education. T Tim, pursue higher education? Well, here we go. I will sponsor you. Whoa, that's a lot of months. Can Tim really accepts? Okay. Tim, go to college and make you prouds. You left your face. Timmy, you can't go to college without your face. How are you going to answer your questions? Tim, back from Coolidge. <laughs> cool leg, sorry. Tim, learn many things. Learn to spell new item. Yeah. Hoi, welcome to the Tim shop. Timmy, armor, 6,000 gold. Armor, tw winnie defense makes battles too easy. Oh boy, that's a lot of dog residue to sell. I know there's a faster way to do it, I'm sure, but uh, we'll leave that for now, shall we? Boy! <laughs> well, I'm glad you spent all of 15 seconds at college, much like I had my 15 seconds sleep, and, well, I think time is all relative down in the underground, and <laughs> it affects people in different ways. Hey, now that you got your education, uh, can I talk to you about anything different? I can ask you about the Timmy armor. Tim armor's so good! Any battle become an easy victories! But, hmm... Tem think, if you use armors, battles wouldn't be a challenge anymore. But Tem, have a solution. Tem will offer a scholarships. If you lose a lot of battles, Tem will lower the price. So if you get to tough battle and feel frustrated, can buy Tem armor as last resort. But Tem armor so good, promise to only buy if you really needs it. Okay, but uh, you'll get six thousand gold out of it. My goodness me, this is like the one time I've seen someone not wanting to sell me such a high value item. But okay, I'll walk away for now, Timmy. Boy. Uh, we've got a a Goomba here. I kind of accidentally stumbled upon you. I, I did get a little lost <laughs> trying to get my way back to Waterfall. Ah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Ugh. There's no art in that actually mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You still got hope. <laughs> Here, try solving this block-pushing puzzle. Uh, okay. So, what are you waiting for? Uh, okay, I will solve this block-pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bleh, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Hey, I haven't even given it a fair shot yet. Ugh, never mind. Yeah, well, you're obviously challenged. You think never mind is one word. Ugh. I'm, n I'm not quitting. I will solve this. Can I solve it? I suppose not. Okay, you know what? Fine. Enjoy your own puzzle by yourself. Well, we made it back to Hotland, the, uh, the long way. <laughs> Let's uh, catch the ferry back again. Tra-la-la. -la. Care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? Uh, back to Waterfall, please. <laughs> then we're off. Yeah. We could talk about block puzzles and how difficult they supposedly are. Can you believe the nerve of that Goomba? And we're back. Now, I just gotta find this house. Somewhere. Let's explore. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. -la. Oh. Here we are. Yes, I remember this. We've got the dummy that was, you know, back to being a dummy again. What? 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 It's a living! <laughs> okay, if you say so. Uh, nice to see you here, Papyrus. What are you up to? Aha! Uh -huh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? <laughs> a plan to make us great friends, huh? Well, I can't wait to hear it. Okay, stand behind me. Yeah, you're good at friend-zoning people, aren't you? Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. A, a bone? With a with a bow on it? Uh-oh. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Uh, about that. 
I'm just gonna poke my head in between uh, Papyrus's ribs there. You bet I am! And I brought a friend! <laughs> Hi. I don't think we've... Why don't... You two... Come in! <laughs> Papyrus looks so excited. Okay. Uh, nice home clothes there, Undyne. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> she knows it's from Papyrus. <laughs> so are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. Uh, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> what a great plan. Yes, this works out just fine. Uh, be careful there, Papyrus. I didn't realize the bathroom was the river nearby. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? <gasps> Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. Yes. Uh, really? <laughs> How delightful! I accept! <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad all I had to do was ask. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Oh, now you're being sarcastic. Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Ha, oh, that cuts deep. That cuts deeper than that sword on your right. Now get out of my house. Dang. What a shame. <laughs> you were listening. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus! Wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. Oh, we're going to be BFFs? We're going to be... Besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? Oh, yes. I, your diabolical plan for friendship. It's a bad idea for me, but I can't help it. I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. <laughs> Yeah, well, he boned it, I think. Sit down and progress? Not quite yet. Let's look around. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? False. <laughs> you liar. I've read Alphys' human history book collection. I know all about your giant swords. Oh, that that's, uh... That's manga. <laughs> That's comic books. Your colossal alien fighting robots. Your supernatural princesses. Heh. <laughs> There's no way you're gonna fool me. You're right, actually. I, uh, I thought I could trick you, but no. Alphys' books are actually the factual truth. No trick whatsoever. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. <laughs> I see. Uh, that's, uh, that's the purpose of your oven in the middle of the room. Hot Fridge, the world's greatest invention. Ah, well, I mean, it keeps it warm, I suppose, rather than... Uh, maybe it uses less energy. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Wow, uh, you've got a lot in there. Do you have uh, bamboo swords in there, though? I think you're missing that. I guess that's reserved for a dessert. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Fire magic. Yes, powered by magical electricity, no less. Look inside the bone drawer. Sure. Boop. Wait. Excuse me. <laughs> he just winked at me. It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? I'm scared to take a seat at the table, you know? I mean, at least Sans would put a whoopee cushion there. I'm s I wouldn't be surprised if you, like, put a dagger there so I sat on it. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. I see. You want to see my room? 
Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Okay, well, will you let me in then? You're being kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm the creepster. I guess I am, sort of, in a way. Just the way I don't react to anything at all. One time, Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. Wow. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a grape one. All right, uh, I think I've seen plenty. Let's, uh, let's take a seat. Sit at the freaking table, you little nerd. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Wait, let's double check everything. Let's just say true. Heh, <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alvis built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? She is very smart. I hope you're smart enough to recognize that she's probably a good person for you, and you should go out with her. You know, you've got a cheerful soundtrack for someone named Undyne. <laughs> Sit down and progress? Yes. Let's progress our friendship even though I'm standing on it right now. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. From the hot fridge. Great. Wow, she's using literally every part of her kitchen. All set, what would you like? Ugh. Hey! Don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, might I just point to what you want. You can use the spear. Aim with arrows and select with Z. We've got, uh, sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. And tea box, blatantly correct choice. Uh, yeah, because I don't like warm soda whatsoever. I can't drink sugar, and hot chocolate in a green cylinder kind of makes me uncomfortable. So let's go with the tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Okay, there we go. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, I'm, I'm, st I'm just sitting, standing. Sit standing here. Wow, we watched it boil. Okay, it's all done. Sugar. Uh, we, we, we might need to... Yeah, my tea's gonna slide down the broken table. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. <laughs> Thank you. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Oh, don't let, uh, don't let Papyrus hear you say that. Because I think he wants to be your ultra good friend. Hey! You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Ascor's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. <laughs> what if Ascor like looks like me and we both just have that same expressionless face? Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Ascor. Emphasis on tried. Oh, wow, he defeated you, huh? I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? Right. I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. <laughs> like, uh, uh, Papyrus. I think he's still in the bathroom. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. No, don't say that. You're going to crush his dreams. The poor guy's been working so hard for this. Don't tell him I said that. He's just... Well, the only reason you won't let him into the Royal Guard is because you're protecting him. That's the only reason I'll accept Undyne. I mean, 
It's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. Yeah, okay, I'll accept that. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. And, well, now we're precious friends, aren't we? So I guess you shouldn't be part of the Royal Guard either. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? Ah, the pasta's your idea. So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, s sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? No, I think it's barely lukewarm at this point. I'll get you some more. Okay. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it... You'll have to have it for him! Oh. Okay, we're... <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! <laughs> yeah. Just do the Lady in the Tramp thing with the pasta. Which means that if I give you his lesson... We'll become closer than you could ever imagine. Oh, my goodness, I really have fallen for your trap. How am I going to escape this cooking lesson? Foo-hoo-hoo-hoo, afraid. We're going to be best friends. I mean, I just did some cooking with a robot. You're going to have to compete with him. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's start with the sauce. Whoa. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them into dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Yeah, screw these healthy ingredients. Psh. Now it's my turn. Nyah! Oh. Well. Uh. We'll just scrape this into a bowl later. I like how we both have tomato sauce on us. Even the sprite has sauce. Or is it even sauce? No, it's just tomato. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. <laughs> Cheeky. They're the cheapest. Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You threw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. <laughs> it clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Proceed repeatedly to stir. Ugh, just like I'm encouraging that snail. Stir harder. 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 Uh, let me do it. Here we go. That's... That's not stirring. That's stabbing. Ooh, that's the stuff. I guess it is a uh, spear tender instead of fork tender. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Are ready? Don't hold anything back. Uh, hold right to turn up the heat. All the way. Yeah, we're, we're doubling up. Hotter! I didn't realize stoves could get this hot. Harder, darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... Uh, oh, God. Well, shit. Ah, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Uh, we're in hell now. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, I mean, yeah, we can get tattoos of each other's names as well, if you want. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. Well, I... I had a good time with you. I'm actually just really sorry I burned your house down, to be honest. That's not a very cool friend thing to do. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, we're enemies. It means I can destroy you without regret. No, not again. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. 
I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. And Dine is letting you make the first attack. Check. 941, defense 21. This time, don't hold anything back. Tell me what you've got. Uh, fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Huh. One damage? I still did some damage, even though it was a fake attack. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? <gasps> I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. Are you talking about Ascor? It seems that you and Ascor are fated to fight. Oh. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. Oh, well, thank you for sparing me and uh, delaying things until a uh, asshole falls down the hole that I did. That makes sense, right? Foo. Oh, and if you do hurt Ascor, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just have, a, you have to have a punch-up with your friends. Foo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Yeah, probably a good idea. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. I, I've leveled up from nerd to punk. I'll take it. Uh, do you have a fire service around here? We should probably call them.